This is an incoming transmission from the Jersey Shore. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Today you'll hear some of the most important financial information and wealth building techniques available anywhere. Let's get this party started, huh? Do you have a question for Scott and the team? Am I, am I, am I on the air? 609-488-4646. That's 609 609- 488-4646. We'll get that information to them by radio. Now, Financial Insanity with Scott McLean. Well, the IRS is just so nice. They're going to let us set aside a little bit more money next year, thanks to some recently announced changes. So we're going to talk about that a little bit. Financial Insanity with Scott McLean. I'm Alex Stingman. We're talking IRS. We're also talking about how to make your money work for you, and we're going to go over some timeless advice. Scott, it is great to see you, my friend. Uh, great Alex, time, of, great time of year here. You know, nearing the it end is of the a year. good time. You know, it's time to plan. It's yep. uh, for those people celebrating lovely Turkey Day, being thankful, and everything and everything. Give thanks. I think it's a great time of year. Got through Halloween, so we're definitely Dennis are able to uh, definitely enjoy uh, cavities and make money, but notwithstanding, let's save money. You brought up the idea today. We're talking about, I guess, this little discussion of the IRS, and the IRS was kind enough, as you brought up, regarding the new rules. Yeah, you got to be thankful for that. Yeah, that's Yeah, (laughs) and um, for those of you who are not saving money, maybe you have a, a 401k, 403b, a 457, a plan where you can put money away. Maybe you have a SEP plan, Simplified Employee Pension Plan, a plan at work where the boss is contributing to your plan. Don't leave money on the table. And now the table got bigger as it went from, uh, I think it was uh, the IRAs went from 6,500 to 7,500. And you can Write that off, right, Alex? I mean, everybody wants a write-off. They want to get a deduction. Oh, yeah. A little bit more uh, gravy on your stuffing there. It is. You know, and and, uh, and the blessing is, if let's say the boss is contributing a dollar for a dollar. Well, that's just free money you don't want to put up. So if you have your kids, listen to me, uh, my lovely, uh, loyal listeners. If you have children, you might want to just give them a come to Jesus talk with your kids Say, hey, are you contributing to your 401k? There might be free money out there because the 401k actually went up from, uh, you can put money, it's tax deferred. It went from uh, 19,500 and the IRS says, why don't you go ahead and put an extra thousand dollars away and put that off on your tax return. You can write off another thousand dollars. This could be a real benefit for those of you in the uh, uh, retirement world. They want to start to really catch up on your, Retirement and speaking of ketchup, by the way, not on your your hot dogs or hamburgers, but the IRS, uh, Alex. I'm not sure if you you're too young, Alex, but for old people like me that are 50 years and older, you're able to put an extra well sixty five hundred dollars on top of the twenty thousand five hundred dollars this year, which makes it a grand total of twenty seven thousand dollars for the 2022. And it'll probably go up for 2023. Now, why do we talk about this, Alex? Well, give me an idea, Alex. Why do we talk about taxes when it comes to financial planning? What, what have you heard out there? Well, because oftentimes it's something that's totally uh, overlooked, Scott, and it's something that can make such a huge impact. And there's just timing, like you know, and things yeah. can, it can just make such a huge difference if you do this now, if you, and how you do things. And, and that's really where having somebody who knows what they're doing is so important. And if you do have questions, you can call Scott 609 488 4646, 609 488 4646, because Scott, you do this all the time. And when you get we into do. the weeds with the numbers and the tax implications, Applications, you know, that kind of stuff is second nature to you, and it can be something easily overlooked by someone else who just doesn't deal with it all the time. Let me give you guys a heads up, Alex. This was amazing. A, uh, a lovely couple came in. They're about to go in retirement. We went through all the uh, decision making or they went through the decision making of why they want to retire, not just to leave work, but to what they want to do and enjoy life and, and really enjoy what it's going to feel like to have their uh, ankles are free of leaving the boss and enjoying life and traveling wherever they want. And that's a great thing. And and they said, well, Scott, we're planning on leaving uh, in about six to eight months from now. 
And so here's what an idea I came up with for them. And I, I do this for everybody we talk about, but for them, it would work per perfectly. And here's what we did. I found out they weren't maximizing or even using the catch up plan, which we just spoke about extra money you can put into your 401k. And I said to them, why don't you go ahead and invest more money? And they look, Scott, the market's down. We want to be safe. We don't want to take any risks. Okay, great. In your case, this could be a great tool. Go ahead and put your money into a, a, a maybe they call it a stable value or a guaranteed fund and at least take the IRS blessing of being able to write it off and having your taxes be reduced for the next few months while you're working and reduce the taxes as long as their budget allowed. And we looked at their budget. We ran up the flagpole said, you guys could easily put away an extra uh, the maximize your 401k out and not even miss a beat. And that for them was a home run. Then I had a client come in a couple, uh, I should say a person from our radio show, just the one we were speaking about, Alex, and they came in here and they're not going to retire for another four to five years. They weren't sure. They were scared of the market. They were in the market. Their accounts went down about 20%. And that's a lot of money for them. They lost 20%. And imagine just losing when they had an extra about $600,000 and they're down about $100,000. They said, Scott, what should we do? We got five years. They could hang in there and ride the wave back if it does ride the wave back, or they could do something unique. Alex, let me tell you what I did. They really didn't want to be in the market. So when you're timing the market, it's very hard versus time in the market. They did not want to leave it there. So we discussed an idea and a game plan where we put the money into what's called the, the guaranteed fund they had at their work. They had a guaranteed fund of 3%. And I said, let's put all of the money there. They said, okay, but let's now dollar cost average for the next five years into the market. In other words, I want them to really max out to the market the new money. So the old money is going to go into a safe vehicle. It's going to grow nice, slow. They're can they had an account that's guaranteed a 3% uh, account. And then they said, you know, Scott, that means we're going in the market. Yes, but your dollar cost averaging. If those of you listening right now don't understand dollar cost averaging, I really, really encourage you. This is a beautiful, tremendous opportunity for those of you that are planning on retiring, or and maybe you're scared of the stock market and you think it could go down more. Well, okay. If that's your process, let's take advantage of it. Dollar cost averaging, you're putting the same amount of money in the account every single month. Say it's a hundred dollars a month, whether the stock price is $10 a share, that means you're getting 10 shares or the stock price drops and goes to $5 a share. You're getting twice as many shares. Well, here's the blessing. We've got money in the safe account can't go down. We've got money in the dollar cost averaging account that works. And it works like unbelievable. If the market continues to drop, you're buying a lot more shares, but you're probably not going to use that bucket of money for many years after you retire. And this could be designed and customized really to bolster and improve your retirement, not when you're 65, maybe 75, this piece or this kind of money that could really, really be a real blessing. So if you're not aware of what I'm saying, dollar cost averaging versus reverse dollar cost averaging, pulling money out, give, give me a call off the air. I'd love to share this with you. The dollar cost averaging versus those of you retire reverse dollar cost averaging, which is a cuss word, 609-488-4646. I'd love to talk to you again about when you retire, Maybe you're in retirement. Maybe you're about to retire like the last couple couple I spoke to and how to maximize their 401k, 403b. I'd love to talk to you off the air, 609-488-4646 to guide you to make really sound decisions with your money that you can really bolster and improve your portfolio. Even this in a stock market, whether it's heading down or going back up, how can you maybe put your head on your pillow. Maybe you can relax a little bit and, and not worry as much as those people these days of seeing their accounts just dwindle away based on what the market was doing. That's important. Scott McLean, Financial Insanity. 
and Scott McLean, 609-488-4646. If you have questions, he may have answers for you. Founder of McLean Advisory Group. This market is insane. This market is <laughs> insane. Just talk to Scott McLean. And we are, you know, you have to reflect on things that you are thankful for here yeah. in in the, this time, this month. And one thing that we've talked about being thankful for, the changes may be made by the IRS, but we also know that we have a lot of concerns that we're hearing from clients as well. What are some concerns you're hearing right now, Scott, as far as people trying to save for retirement? What are people worried most about? You know, we spoke about this in one of our previous shows. You and I were talking about some of the concerns and uh, obviously one of the things right in front of us in this show today Alex, is the rising costs of food, gas, people spending money. And one of my biggest concerns I was really thinking about the other night when I was thinking about our show we did uh, a few weeks ago was when I see parents helping their kids out. I think it's just so honorable and so wonderful. But the worrisome in my mind and in their mind is they could be using dollars that they need in a few years for today for their kids. So underestimating inflation and then helping out family members could be at a huge cost. And so that is a number one uh, thing that's right on the uh, scale. I mean, uh, my wife and I, we have a couple diesel vehicles and we're seeing that the diesel shortage is coming up. Those, those of you, listen to me. Are you listening to me out there? Listen, do you remember when they had the odd even days? Now, now, Alex is too young for this, but uh, when the, if you had the odd even days on your license plate, you couldn't get gas. Well, we're heading down to Ocala, Florida to compete at the World Equestrian Center. My daughter's going to be competing down there. And, and I'm lurking. What about diesel? What if diesel prices? I, I almost filled up the other day at uh, at five dollars and ninety nine cents a gallon. And at, at eleven miles a gallon, when you're pulling animals and, and big rigs, it's uh, very expensive. But I think about the odd even days. I think about the shortages. This is really, really uh, uh, concerning for everybody and inflation. So again, watch your dollars. What money you're spending before you give the kids too much money? How will it affect you? Maybe it won't. And that's the number one thought that I've been really coming across, Alex. And the number second number of thought, will I have enough money? Uh, will I run out of money? I think that's the second biggest concern I hear a lot. Well, and you're right. That one never changes, Scott. And, no, and, it doesn't. And what do we what do we do with people with, as far as the process for analyzing a person's financial situation? They sit with down with you. you can kind of go over that quickly here. What that looks like for people to see if they have enough to be able to afford to retire. Well, because now that people are living a lot longer than they did, uh, we want to find out what their budget is. We want to look at their 401k, 403b, their their asset values. Then I kind of want to ask some questions about how long did your mom and dad live for if they're still alive? Are you caring for your mom and dad? These are real heartfelt questions that really could mean a wallet empty for questions because are you taking care of your parents? Maybe it's coming out of your wallet or not. Should I put mom and dad in a nursing home or not? They don't want to do that. They gave them their word they wouldn't, but can they afford it? Maybe those of you listening right now, that's probably like you, or maybe you're out there making the money and maybe your spouse is managing the money. You probably need to get involved, understanding when you're in retirement, you both really need to understand, you know, so no one sounds like a squeaky wheel, what's really going on? Because it could be like the person's nagging, but they're not nagging, they're concerned and you need to understand the concern. So Alex, when I meet with people, I want to know their biggest concern on both sides. The, the both spouses I want to know about, I want to know what's their, or in this case, we have several clients that are partners and uh, these couples they're together and uh, they need to know how to budget their money. And that's not fun. It's not a fun. I don't know about you, Alex, but if you're living on a X, Y, Z, we're not like the government, they can keep printing money. I don't, my trees aren't growing dollars, but uh, the challenge is not paying attention to your dollars. So inflation, will I run out of money? Heck, one out of four retirees need to plan for a 35-year retirement. Alex, that's the numbers. Scott McLean, here to help. 609-488-4646 is the number. 609-488-4646. Just add a .com. 
for his <laughs> website. Well, when we yep. come back, here's something exciting. How to make your money work for you. Well, that sounds interesting. That is coming up. Don't go anywhere. Financial Insanity. More with Scott McLean on the way. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. We made it back. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, presented by McLean Advisory Group. It truly is not about how much you make. It's how much you can keep that really counts. It's less about the number of dollars you've saved, more about the strategies you use with those savings. Because really, Scott, as you know, money's got to be moving in the same direction for a singular purpose, your retirement. What are some things we can do to get our money moving in the right direction? Take control of it. Number one, it would be taking control of your money. Where is it going? We talked about budget. We talked about how much you're going to live for those people are going into retirement, looking at your numbers. And then taking control of your money leads to another being consistent. And of course, usually in every family, if they're if you're still married or have a significant other, uh, maybe a partner, who's watching the beans? Who's counting the beans? And are we really paying attention to the dollar? Now, this is basic to all y'all listen to this right now. Very basic. But the problem is it gets out of hand by really not paying attention. I'll never forget dad and mama. And uh, of course, my uh, dad did the bills and mom was always yelling because they wanted to buy things. And dad said, look, Joan, throws her the checkbook and said, here, Joan, you do it. You handle the checkbook. Boy, what a, I know you guys out there are probably laughing like Alex is, but you know what? Time and consistency. If you've been doing it all the time and maybe your loved one out there is not doing it, they need to be involved because mm. one y'all just might pass away. And if you pass away now that you're actually through the, uh, the college manual into their hands and they aren't even in kindergarten. In other words, you passed the baton, but they're not ready to, to run. And I think this is a good time to have a discussion uh, about it, especially for your kids. I think, uh, when I wrote a program with Citibank and wrote a, a, called a financial program, a literacy course, Alex, I'm not sure if I mentioned that to you, but in, in designing this program, it's how money works for kindergartens right up to high school. And of course, uh, no one would take it. But again, time and consistency, taking control of your money, knowing what, and maybe adjusting your lifestyle. And that brings me to a funny thing. Uh, when we were speaking off the air a second ago, Alex, you mentioned uh, what your clients are doing. I just had a couple of clients that have significant money in the bank and in their investments, and they've invested with us. And it's funny, they both came in at the same time today. One came in and the other client was leaving and a good friend of ours, all oh, my clients are great friends. And I said, y'all are two peas in a pod. And they looked at me like, what do you mean? Scott? I said, y'all are cheap. You're very cheap. And the, of course, uh, and then of course my staff said, Scott, they're frugal. Yeah, just like me. They go to the thrift store, they buy secondhand stuff for the kids, secondhand books, secondhand toys, because they know they're going to blow. I just like laughed. I just was so amazed and enamored of these, this, this, the two ladies that were leaving and their husbands were with them and they're both cracking up. And are you frugal out there? In times like this, you're going to hear this. Mom, can I borrow some money? Dad, we're kind of a little behind. Can you help us out? When you get those calls, you really need to know your budget. You need to have control in your money and you need to have enough nerve. Or I say to some guys, testosterone shots or estrogen shots for you women to say uh, the cuss word and the famous cuss word. My dad always said to me, uh, not always, by the way, but I should say many times, no, mm -hmm. 
He might not give me the answer why, but of course I would prod him because I wanted to know why. But most of the time he would go in death. Let me tell you why, son. And in my book, I spoke about it in chapter 11. My first loan I got from my dad, Alex, I don't know if he told you this, but I bought it a bicycle and uh, I knew my dad had money and uh, at least I thought he had a lot of money. And, and he said, uh, I said, dad, my friends have a Schwinn bicycle. Can I get a, can I get a Schwinn bicycle? He looked at me and we were at dinner time. He said, sure, son, how much you got? Hmm. Well, 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 their dad's bought them. I said, well, son, you got a birthday coming up. Maybe I'll help you a little bit. And of course, my mom chimed in and says, no, you pay for it. Well, dad only have $50 and the bike I want is 110. Can I borrow it? Now, all I was thinking about is getting that bike, Alex, nothing else. You know what my dad did right there? He said, Joan, which is my mom, give me a piece of paper, grab a piece of paper. And he started writing on it and he started writing on this piece of paper. I looked at him, dad, what are you doing? Don't worry about it, son. Son, what kind of bike do you want? I want a blue Flandria. You do? Okay. 10 speed? Yeah, dad. All my friends have Schwinn's and I can't afford it. All right, son. He then finished writing. He said, here, I'm going to loan you the money at 10% and you're going to pay me back $10 a week over the next six weeks. Oh, by the way, whatever the taxes will add on to this. And then he said to me brilliantly, as he held the paper in the air and showed it to me as what the words were, very simple. And son, this is not, I don't trust you. This is an agreement between you and I, just in case I forget. He instilled to me at a very young age, if they're going to loan me money, I'm going to pay it back. And boy, did he, uh, he hit home. By the way, if you're going to give your kids money, Look at your budget. And I know that's really big right now. I've spoken to many families and, and some of you, you could, it wouldn't even hurt you to give them tons of money and thank God for you. You're blessed. But there's other people out there that are going to give your right arm and your left leg just to help your kids out. And then you're going to suffer in case maybe your loved one dies. You lose your so secure, your husband's so security, your wife's so security. I should say your spouse is so security. You lose it. And now you lost that big nest egg that big check, it's not coming in anymore. But then you loan the money out or you started giving it away freely because everything was fine. This is again, A, not knowing your budget, B, not taking control, Alex. And I know that's a long-winded answer, but if you need help out there and you're about to retire, let me help you. Let me guide you. Let me show you the things I show our clients before they retire. So when they're in retirement and I know they're going to make a mistake, they know how to get back on track. We all make mistakes. There's nothing wrong with that, but we all have to learn the cuss word. No, we also need to know our budget. And so I, I know this is basic for those of you listening out there. Oh, this is boring. Hey, this is real. This is real. Cause what happens behind the scene is if dad didn't let me borrow money, I guarantee I'd have gone behind the scenes of mom and beggar. I had done something to get that, that bicycle. That never, that never <laughs> happens. What are you talking about? That would never happen. Oh, 609-488-4646. If you have questions, if you need help, guidance and saying no every once in a while, number 609-488-4646. Love to help you people out there. If you have any questions or concerns, I can tell you off the air, I'll, I'll help you. And Scott, Rightfully so. It's all about saving money while we're working. But in retirement, it's really about creating that income that we no longer are getting from maybe that job. So oh, yeah. how do we how do we take those savings, turn them into income for retirement? It seems simple, but it's complex. It's really not simple. Uh, it seems simple when you're young, because when you're young, you just put the money in the bank and over time it grows time and consistency and uh, by just plowing it away. And as compound interest works, heck, if you get a nice compound interest, hundred dollars a month from age zero uh, to 45 years old, you got what? 175,000 bucks, a little bit of money, just a little bit of money, but it's time. Then this next thing is income. I'd like you to put your noodles on. If you're listening right now, and I like to use a formula that's a very powerful formula that I think you might be able to gravitate to or use. 
It's TR equals I plus G. TR equals I plus G. And this is a mistake I find all the time. TR equals total return. What's the total return on your investments? Then to how the total return comes in is plus is I, the interest income or the dividend income plus G, growth. Now, in this stock market that we're in right now, the market seems to be uh, like a singer's sewing machine. Make a noise, a singer's sewing machine going, zzz, zzz. yeah, that's right, up and down. And when the, when, the, when the market goes up and down, how can you make money? You see, when the market was screaming from the year 2001 to 2002, you, were, you could pull out money by way of growth, which means if you, let's say, had $100,000 in the bank, and here, by the end of 2021, the 100,000 becomes 120,000, a 20% 20 rate of return. And so you pull out the 10,000 bucks, or let's say 10%, piece of cake. But in an economy that is now waning and up and down, you need to focus on the I, not the G, so you can retire comfortably. Focus in the I, not the G, to retire comfortably. What's the I? Well, the I isn't growth stocks. It's income stocks. It's the steady income you're going to get from dividend or interest producing vehicles. For example, for those people that are out there at the banks right now, there are vehicles out there that right now have the ability to have some guaranteed fixed rate of return, much more than the 2%. That's what's going on right now here in the year 2022. Why? Because that's how they're designed. But the banks aren't paying anything, so you're not getting ahead. That would be why in earning money by way of interest. Imagine if you're getting 2% in the bank and you got $100,000, you're getting $2,000. But if you have $100,000 in other vehicles that are going to pay 4%, which they're out there today, well, that's a 100% increase. In other words, $4,000. Let me break it down even easier. If you had $4,000, you got $100,000, you're getting $4,000 a year of interest, not growth. That's an extra $300 a month to pay for that gas because the gas in your car is costing you $300 a month. So investing for income. Other vehicles, Alex, out there are called investments that are paying dividends, such as short-term bonds. I'm not telling you to buy them, guys. Short-term bonds. Ladies, preferred stocks. And other vehicles like them that has a contract to pay a specific amount of interest, or they would call in this world the dividend. And some pay twice a year. Some of the vehicles pay four times a year. And some of them by contract could pay monthly. And by way of contract, that's how you could invest to get that nice dividend income. So you really need to pay attention to the I, not the G in a market that's dropping. Let me, Alex, I don't know if you understand this, but, and I'm sure you do, because if you have a growth account that made 20%, when the market starts to drop, you could have a, well, what's it down now? Almost 22%. You lost all that gains. And just to break even, you've got to make a lot of money. Invest for the I, not for the G, if you need income. And buying those income tools is a specific game plan. It's a specific way to invest for the interest income or the dividend. It's not just throw darts like many advisors today are doing. It's, it's really focused and uh, really extreme focus on what tools can I get to pay. And as interest rates go up, the dividend stocks can be going down, but the yield could be going up. What a great time. So if you're looking for more income, 609-488-4646. Let me help you understand investing for income because when you're pulling money out by way of growth on a monthly basis, you actually have to sell shares of stock, the S's. You have to sell shares of stock. <laughs> or By the seashore. It's right at the seashore. Yeah. You have to sell a lot more shares of stock if the market's going down, which could cannibalize your assets. And it could be like Casper, the friendly ghost. Your money is gone away and you didn't know where it went. 
by pulling money by way of reverse dollar cost averaging. I love it, Scott. And if people have questions, if they want to seek out some advice, you can reach Scott, 609-488-4646. You know, retirement is not a sprint. It is more like a marathon. How do you plan for something, though, when you can't even see the finish line? More financial insanity on the way. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. Financial wisdom grown locally here on the Jersey Shore. You think I'm an idiot? This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, brought to you by McLean Advisory Group. Retirement definitely is not a sprint. It's maybe more like a marathon because you have to pace yourself so you don't weigh yourself out before you get to the finish line. But the challenge with the marathon of retirement is you don't really know where the finish line is. We're living longer than any generation before us. There's no telling how long that we might live. Scott, are your clients concerned about running out of money before they run out of life? And how can you help ensure that their money continues to work for them through retirement? How do you insure them? Well, I don't know how to really insure them. It's I, I call it more educate them, uh, Alex, because in educating people that really don't know how money works that well, and I assume everybody coming in here doesn't know it. I didn't say they're dumb. I didn't say that. Frankly, I've got doctors coming in here, engineers coming in here, and I want to break it down real simple. But if you want to ensure that you have got income for the rest of your life, there are tools out there that can really do a, a very very good job. Frankly, uh, in I think it was 2016 or 17, there was a vehicle out by a company called SBLI. Interest rates were very, very low, but they had a vehicle that paid a guaranteed 4%. Now, it wasn't heard of. This company's been around since 1907. Very highly rated company. Good, good company. Insurance vehicle. And, 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 and I don't like annuities that much. I frankly, there's four types out there. I totally really don't like two of them very rapidly, which I think people should run from. But this vehicle was called a fixed annuity and was fixed because they're fixed by 4%, like a CD. So imagine they put in $200,000 and they're going to get 4% or $8,000 a year. Now they could either leave that money in there. Or they could take out $667 a month for the period of time that vehicle was. It was a guaranteed fixed vehicle. Now, by the way, the vehicles are coming back now. Now, that is one way to, by way of contract, get a guaranteed from the insurance company who is the one guaranteeing it and backing it, not Scott McLean. Um, but but they're guaranteeing it based on the uh, uh company they have and the rules. Now, the beauty is if they were to pass away, unlike other types of annuities, their family gets the principal if they're only pulling out the interest if they passed away. Mm. So that's one way, Alex, to have some kind of guarantees. If you invested by way of uh, uh, people are investing by way of bonds and they were buying bonds because in the old days, that was the catch all. I buy a bond, the bond pays a 5% dividend, and I know I'm getting 5% based on the company. Of course, I have to say this with my securities hat on, if the company doesn't go bankrupt. But bonds pay way of interest. They usually pay twice a year. But if the company goes bankrupt, like our company called General Motors, 
when that happened, of course, you didn't get that bond. For every $100, you got 18 cents or 22 cents. So, but that's a way to get money, but is it guaranteed? Well, hopefully the company will be around. So there are other vehicles out there that can give you a steady income. Oh, by the way, I don't know if I told you the story. There's a guy named George from Staten Island. Woo, did he have an accent? And I'm from Jacksonville, Florida. I've kind of got rid of my accent, and uh, uh, but he he had a real strong accent. He came to one of our our, our workshops as mm -hmm. I was educating them. We spoke about one vehicle, and he came in from our workshop. He said, "Hey, kid," and he threw a piece of paper on my desk. Uh, actually, a a contract. Mm. I got this. My cousin sold to me. Yeah, what is it? I looked at it. He goes, looks at me. He sticks his chest out, and he's got this real boisterous attitude from North, uh, I should say from Staten Island and, and, uh, loved him to death, him and his wife, beautiful. And I said, George, um, this contract, he goes, yep. My cousin sold it to me. He would never hurt me. He would never take advantage of me. He sold it to me. And I'm getting a guaranteed 6% on that contract every year. Take a look, take a look, kid. I looked at the contract and I, I noticed, I said, wow, George, would you mind if I did something? And he said, sure. What do you want to do? Let's call the company and ask them, um, frankly, what this means. Mm -hmm. Guys, I've been doing this thing now uh, going over 41 years, but I didn't want to tell him what I read. I know how to read a contract pretty quickly. I've yep. done pretty good in this field, but I didn't want him to think I was trying to sway him to work with me. Sure. So we called the insurance company. And uh, this was 2009. And George bought this contract in 2006. Oh. So he's had the contract for three years. He sticks his chest out. Yeah, ask any question you want. So I called him, but I asked three, well, several questions. Question number one, uh, what's the current contract value at? And what's the highest value? It's $354,000 is the income benefit. The guy s smiles. Certainly. And I asked the insurance uh, lady on the phone from the company. Now, the reason, Alex, I didn't ask, I didn't call his agent. I wanted to get it from the horse's mouth. I wanted to hear it directly from the company, not the agent, which I get a unskewed position. And I didn't want to in insult anybody. That was not my, my demeanor. So I asked the question. So we have $354,000. If he had to pull money out, how much does his wife, uh, if he were to take money out or they needed money at their mm -hmm. money in there. Well, the current cash value in that contract right now is $187,000. He had a fit. His face gets real red. And then he says some words, four letter words. I don't say on the uh -huh. radio. He says, what the are you talking about? You're full of. And so I said, whoa, 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 whoa. I asked the, uh, uh the, um, representative for the company. They said, what is that 187,000? He said, sir, that's the cash value. Oh, so that's the cash value of the of the product? Yes. I said, well, I'm confused. Now I knew it, but I wanted him to hear it from the company. Yep. I said, could you explain what the $354,000 benefit was? And he's sitting there with the big smile as the, the guy's looking at my shoulder and the operator got on the phone, sir. That $354,000 is what's called income for life. So the income for life, can you explain how that works? And they said, yes. If he chose to take out 5% a year of the $354,000, how much would that be? And they said, well, $17,700. So he can pull out, frankly, $1,475 a month for his entire life. But the cash value is only 187. Yes. Oh, all right. He was confused. There's two big numbers there. One reason why people are confused about annuities is because they can be very hard to decipher, which is why when people give us a call or when they come in, they actually show them to me because the IRS has what's called the 1035 rule that could really help them out. But, but I won't go there yet. So I then asked the woman, I said, well, let me ask you something. If he was pulling money out, what happens if he dies? What does his wife get? She would get the $187,000 
He didn't have a death benefit uh, on top of that, but he had $187,000 of cash value. And hopefully if that grows, it could be less, but whatever is coming out of that product, $1,475, that comes off of the 187. There was a silence. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Isn't there a death benefit? Yes, there's a death benefit, but if he's pulling money out and he used the annuitization and he's just simply pulling out the 5%, he could be getting, uh, his spouse could be getting less money based on what option he chose in the contract. So I, I then said, well, let me ask you a question. Is there fees in this product? And there were. Alex, I don't know if anybody's out there that has a vehicle called a variable annuity. And by the way, I'm licensed. We can offer these products. I don't like them. I don't, I can service them, but at the fee, there was five individual fees and it's not noted on most all of the variable annuity products. What he didn't know that he had was he was paying 4% in fees. Now, if you're doing the math, what's 4% of 300,000 out there? $12,000 in fees. Imagine paying $12,000 in fees for the past three years. $36,000 that comes out of the cash value. And by the way, the stock market was dropping from 2007 to 2009, and it was almost a 60% drop. Now he was in the stock market. That's why it dropped so radically. And they could have changed it to safer vehicles, but this is a vehicle that's misunderstood. So if you're looking for some guarantees, income, as you mentioned to me, Alex, income that I can bank on, I can live on. This is why you f go to someone who specializes on the sound income strategies, income strategies that could last the rest of your life. And knowing how to position people in those areas could be very important. By the way, there's other products out there that can get a guaranteed income for life, but this is one tool that's really, really misunderstood. I wanted to get that out there, Alex. Uh, well, yeah, and it's a great example. And, and if you're out there and and maybe maybe you're a little overconfident uh, about your plan, or maybe uh, maybe you're a little too trusting of your cousin who set you up, like uh, <laughs> right, like right. George, uh, you can call Scott and get more information. He can be reached at the studio 609-488-4646. The number is 609-488-4646. And it's a great thing, Scott, that we're living longer. But, you know, this this does create some specific challenges and, and things are different than they, they were for previous generations. And what are some things we might need to plan for? Longevity, as you well said. Are we running our money? Are we spending too much money? Again, from the beginning of this uh segment this show is again knowing our budget number two how are we taking income we spoke about are we taking it by way of income by way of the i or are we taking it by way of the g are we invested too risky if the market has another 20 percent drop or like it did in 2007 to 2009 is 60 percent how will many people listening right now fare out? Have they shifted? Are they paying attention to what's happening right now? And, and maybe they should hang in there. Don't worry. Well, that's good. Maybe for some money for other money, maybe they need to pay attention. How do they make the money last longer? Pay attention to taxes, the power of deferred savings, compound interest and reduction of taxes could help your money last a lot longer because we are living a lot longer. So I guess in scenario of our health, some of us need to get off the couch and start running. So if you're on the couch, you might want to put that, get that potato butt off that couch and maybe get your booty out in the sun and, and start running or maybe run with an umbrella if it's raining, but get out of the, uh, out of the house or maybe start swimming or pick up a sport or hobby or just go for a nice walk by yourself or with your uh, lovely mate uh, or you with your dog or just get out. But again, exercise is so important. Why do you think people in Florida are so excited all the time, half the time? <laughs> They're outside enjoying the sun. They get that vitamin D in your system. You feel better. We're living a lot longer. The worst thing is 
living a lot longer and we're miserable. We're unhealthy. And, and by the way, I do have some health issues. And I have to work on those health issues. When I got rheumatoid arthritis, I got to fight it every day, but I'm not going to be that couch potato. I, I've got to keep in shape and them. It's so easy to, uh, to enjoy those three bowls of ice cream when you probably don't even need one. So again, watch how you eat. <laughs> That's so I'm not sure that helps anybody out there, but I can tell you, pay attention to uh, those details because we are living a lot longer and hopefully those listening are being active. They're getting out there. They're meeting new people and stimulating your life with new people, vibrant, being excited and jacked up and the person you want to be. Yeah, you want to be able to enjoy that extra time if you're going to have it. For answers to your questions, you can contact us 609-488-4646, 609-488-4646. Four six dot com. Scott helping us stay sane when the markets are a little volatile. This is Financial Insanity, out of the box thinking for your financial sanity. Scott McLean at McLean Advisory Group often talks about the difference between retirement savings and retirement income. It isn't necessarily how much money you have saved that's most important. It's having a steady stream of income in retirement no matter how long you live. Scott has strategies that can help you create consistent monthly income for the rest of your life. He can help you make important decisions today so you can have the income you need in retirement. Having a big nest egg is great, but how will it provide you with the income you need for as long as you live? The number to get more information from Scott at McLean Advisory Group is 609-488-4646. That's 609-488-4646. Turn your portfolio into a plan with help from Scott McLean. 609-488-4646. Investing involves risk. Firm offers insurance services. Investment advisory services are offered through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. News, tips, the financial tricks, all right here. It's the kind of devil we need around here. This is Financial Insanity with Scott McLean, powered by McLean Advisory Group. Hey, welcome back to Financial Insanity, out of the box, thinking for your financial sanity. And Alex and I have been talking about all sorts of things. So thanks for staying with us. We talk about timeless advice and Alex has got a few little tidbits. I think you've heard many, many times as well as I have. And you have, I, I think one of the times you, too many people spend so much money they earn by buying things they don't want to impress people they don't really like. And so I think about that many times when you, you go out and, and you want to impress people, but I hope you don't do that. Alex, what are some of the timeless ideas you have on there that people really need to pay attention to. Yeah, absolutely, Scott. So we'll start with Warren Buffett. And anybody who knows finances, <laughs> uh, we know the name Warren Buffett. Berkshire Hathaway. Yep. Uh, and this, this man, Brilliant. he says this, rule number one, never lose money. Rule number two, never forget rule number one. And uh, that's easier said than done, right, Scott? Well, that's the truth. That's why I think in one of our segments we were talking about, Alex, about your, your budget and really watching your budget. And then of course people come in, they want to put their money in the stock market. They want to make a million. And of course the market drops, uh, never lose money and forget, never forget rule number one. But again, it is easier said than done. There are some vehicles by the way, out there in the investment world that are up to almost five. Alex, I don't know if you know this, but I have seen some vehicles out there that are paying almost five point, 3% guaranteed. I haven't seen it in so many years and it's no fee, no cost. I'm not selling on the radio, by the way, let me make it real clear. You've seen me on TV. Perhaps you've seen me in the radio uh, or you've been in person. I've never seen that high of a rate, such a long time guaranteed for you know almost five years. And if you're looking for some money, imagine putting a hundred thousand dollars, getting an extra uh, $5,300 a year. Great place, but you're watching your money like the rule. You don't want to lose money and don't forget it. You don't, of course, it's, you want to make sure you don't blow it and of course spend it haphazardly. So Warren Buffett knows his numbers. He knows his money and that's a great rule. American playwright, Tennessee Williams. We're doing timeless advice today on financial insanity. Here's a good one. You can be young without money, but you can't be old without it. 
You can be young without money. That's and right. We all you have been. Mom, yeah. You can go to your mom and dad, and because uh, I've everybody here has had kids, and they can always put their hand in your pocket, or unless you go yell at them and say, "Go get a job." When you get older, I guess you can move back in with your kids. I guess if you don't have any money, you could uh, uh, go on some kind of government uh, benefits. But boy, it sure is tough. I remember going to church and said, "Scott, it, everything isn't about money." I looked at them. I said, you're right, but it's right up there with breathing. And I think you got to have that money because you, you want to buy things and enjoy life and do things. And, and money isn't everything. I, I don't worship money. I have uh, others I worship, which is the my Lord. But uh, I can tell you one thing. It's good to have it. You need to have it. And I can tell you when you don't have it, life changes drastically to where it used to be when you were working. All right. Another one. And you you alluded to this one earlier, this one from Will Rogers. Too many people spend the money they earned to buy things they don't want to impress people that they don't like. How, <laughs> how, what is, why is that a part of human nature, Scott? It's human nature because I think sometimes when you go out to dinner, I think we spoke about this before, and you end up uh, because, you know, you're going with a couple and they uh, they are uh, a lovely couple. They know that you have a few dollars. I'm sure some of you have uh, realized this, or maybe you go out with the kids. They just expect you to pay because you've done pretty good in life, let's say. Well, that's a, a crock. I think that's not very nice, but it's it's real. There's a book on there, a book I was reading, and of course, Who Picks Up the Paycheck is a great book I, I read. But there are so many timeless advice we talk about. You know, when you think about the Ted Williams and the ideas of uh, impressing people. This is about you and your spouse, you and your family. Focus on yourself. Life has a way of going so fast. The older I get, boy, the, the, the smarter my dad is. I can tell you, I think about all the times he told me some wise principles and it, I didn't get it. I just nodded my head, but boy, the, the older I get, the smarter my dad is. So again, you kind of want to watch your dollar. And, and and when you're going out to, to buy those cigarettes, maybe you should maybe try to cut down. They're very expensive. Or maybe when you go out to uh, buy a sandwich every day, maybe take a lunch with you. These are small, stupid things we were told our whole life. I was told my parents were very frugal. Um, and these are small, timeless things that really last. Like, uh, don't spend all your money at one place. 609-488-4646. Scott McClain talking about some timeless advice and a few minutes left here, Scott, and, and maybe discuss if people are out there and maybe they've heard some rules of thumb or they, you know, maybe they, they think, uh, oh, this this uh, little riddle is, is how much Social Security I'm going to need or, you know, people pass down information and some things are timeless. But if people have questions, Scott, I know that you hear some things probably said sometimes and, and it probably makes you roll your eyes. But why are you uh, maybe a possible resource for folks if they want some clarity, if they want some some direction? Well, my birthday's coming up for 64 years old on December 30th. So uh, so I look for some uh, nice, lovely uh, coal in my stocking and some uh, hugs and kisses at of least. Course. I'll take that. Of course, but, you'll have plenty. But yeah. <laughs> when you think about the, uh, the timeless concerns and areas of concern is, uh, you know, we're going through health care. You're getting older and we our, our lives get a little bit more um, challenging. Uh, healthy, unhealthy, stock market. Should you be in the market, not be in the market? We talk to people all the time. Some people should just cannot handle it. Psychologically, they can't handle it. Maybe they should be out. And so this is not a cookie cutter solution. Finance is not a cookie cutter solution. I remember talking to you, Alex, we we're talking about people putting financial plans together, a financial plan tool, a nice 30 page plan of what to do. That's good for that day. It doesn't last for tomorrow. Life changes. So I hope those of you listening right now, if you've got a concern, I'm here. You know, 41 years, the 42 years will be March 8th, uh, 2023. And being in the business as long as I have, I've seen so many different people. One thing in common is, A, people need the money. B, people want to help their kids. And C, if you don't have any kids, you want to help organizations or your own family. Great. Let's structure it. Because again, by structuring and giving you some ideas with the ability to restructure. Structure doesn't mean set it and forget it. It means you're able to restructure because things do change. Kids do get better when they're on the wrong side of the street. 
families do get healthy and then they turn unhealthy and things change. So again, you want to avoid those retirement risks. Love to help you. Feel free to give our office a call right here in Waretown, New Jersey. Any questions you have right around Waretown, 609-488-4646. Alex and I try to pour our hearts out because we've done this for so long. And now in our 41st year in the industry, it's still the same. How do I really grow my money, protect my money and help my family? I think that's what we're looking at. So Alex, I hope this was helpful for those people listening today. And I think we can help you. If you give our studios a call, I'm here for you. 609-488-4646. My name is Scott McLean, Alex Dingman, here to help you guys. And thanks for joining us at Financial Insanity right here at McLean Advisory Group right here in Waretown, New Jersey. This presentation may contain information which has undergone regulatory or other significant change since its original recording. The information on this program is educational in nature and is not intended to be a recommendation for any specific investment product, strategy, plan, tax, or legal advice. Information presented is believed to be factual and up-to-date, but we do not guarantee its accuracy. Discussions and answers to questions do not involve the rendering of personalized investment advice and is limited to the dissemination of general information and may not be suitable for members of the listening audience. Communications such as this are not impartial and are provided in connection with advertising and marketing or McLean advisory group. Prior to making any investment or financial decisions, an investor should always seek advice from a financial insurance, legal, or tax professional. McLean Advisory Group and or Scott McLean offer investment advisory and financial planning services through Bell Point Asset Management, LLC. This radio show is a paid placement. 